Hi everyone, it's Gwen from Hummingbird Tarot. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell so you're notified when I upload a new video. So today I'd like to show you some various ways to shuffle tarot cards. And I thought it might be best if we started off with some regular playing cards. So you could see the difference between the sizes and how things work. The first way that I want to show you how to shuffle is called a riffle shuffle. And I learned this when I was really young. It's harder when you, when the decks get bigger and bigger. So uh, I'm going to start off showing you on a deck of regular playing cards here. So this is the shuffle that you may see a lot from a lot of different tarot readers. And I wanted to just take you through how to do that. Now, now the purpose of shuffling that way is because when you shuffle the cards this way, you're bending the cards in. And if that's the only way you did, then your cards are going to start curving in that direction. And then you bend them this way to counteract the, the bend that you've done on the other side. So I'm going to take you through how that works. So first off, with just a normal pay playing cards you're going to want to see how i have equal amounts in both hands and i've got my thumb on the short end here my index finger on the long end and then i've got two fingers on the other end here so the first way i'm going to start off is i'm going to put my card my cards on their end with my thumb up and i'm going to use my index finger to push them see how i'm doing like that that and I just want to show you too how you want to line them up. You see my cards here. I'm lining them up so that if I fall down this way, the cards are lined up with each other. They're not looking like this. They're not looking like this. And it's easiest to do this if you're at a table and you're standing to start off with. It, it all has to do with being able to get the correct placement on the cards. And then once you get used to bending your wrists a little awkward really when you're sitting down, it'll become easier and easier. If you do it like this, like most people do. It's fine when you do it this way, but if you start to shuffle up like this, what happens when I let go, I'm not gonna do it, is the cards start to shoot out in that direction. And some of you may have heard of the game called a 52 pickup. I don't feel like playing that today. So that's what will happen is all the cards will start shooting out in that direction if I don't have my cards lined up this way. Remember, not that way, not that way. So like this, and then I'm gonna bend them together and then I'm gonna tip my hands a little bit so that they're overlapping. And they overlap maybe about an inch, okay? And now what I'm gonna do is I'm putting my thumbs and I push down on those cards and hold it against the table while I tuck my fingers up under the ends. So what it looks like now, I'm just gonna show you. See how I've got all my fingers tucked right there. So I've got a good hold on these with my thumbs pushing down against the table to get my fingers right where I want them. And you see the cards are lined up this way. They're not tilted this way or this way. They're lined up with each other. Now I've messed it up a little bit here, but they're lined up with each other. And we're going to bend the cards underneath. All I'm doing, I'm still keeping them lined up. And then all I'm gonna do is drop these fingers here so they lay flat against the table on both hands. And I'm gonna use my thumbs to hold the cards right here in the same direction. So as soon as I drop my fingers, what's gonna happen is the cards just fall on their own. And as you get better and you practice this, you can kind of control the speed because that's not as fancy when they just go and they're all back. So I'm gonna do this one more time, slowly. So I'm gonna do my cards there, put my thumbs here, tuck my fingers underneath, bend it up, and then let my fingers fall flat on the table. So you see I controlled the speed of that a, a little bit there. And I'm being a little aggressive with my cards here so you can see how they're kind of starting to curve this way. But the goal is to make sure that your cards just stay flat. And that's why you bend them in one direction and you bend them in the other. And it looks a little fancy. One more time. Bend it up, your fingers drop, and then they all fall there. So that's just a regular deck of playing cards, my Pirates of the Play Caribbean cards there. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull in, this here is the Radiant Rider Weight in a tin. 
And I starting with this because this is probably a good size. It's as close to the regular playing cards as any of the other tarot cards that I'm going to be shuffling with today. So I just wanted to show you the size here. So you can see it's a little bit bigger that way, but it's still pretty good there. Pretty close to that same size. So I have really small hands and this is going to just demonstrate how somebody with smaller hands can do this. If your hands are a little bigger, your fingers are longer, then, uh, or if you have good piano hands, then all of these shuffles are going to be fairly easy for you. So I'm going to show you this deck here. I'm going to do the exact same thing. And this is a little bit harder because remember your regular deck of cards has 52 in there and these are the tarot cards so there are the 78 cards in there. So I'm gonna, I'm holding my fingers exactly the same, thumb, index finger, and then the ring and middle finger here. Line them up with each other so they line up this way and I'm gonna push in the middle and I'm gonna let them fall here. Now tarot cards are a little thicker than playing cards too. Most of them are. These are fairly thin, but they're still thicker than the playing cards. So that was a little harder to do. You can see how I did that. And I just push on those in the middle to hold them there. And I'm tucking all my fingers under. Flip it up and then drop your fingers. And there you go. Um, sometimes what I do is I will also shuffle them like this. And you can also shuffle them so you drop some here, go to this side here, 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 here. And I want to say, I, if, you, if you get fancy with the cards and you're doing the fancy shuffle, you probably want to do it on your own first and you probably have to do it at least 30 times before it starts looking well enough to do in public. So I'm going to show you this one one more time with these here. Okay, so let's go up a little bit higher in our size and let's go to, this is next one here is the universal weight deck here. And this is a standard tarot deck. So let's compare this to our mini tarot cards, which are actually a little bit bigger than regular playing cards. Now, if I put this on here, you'll see how much bigger these cards are. I'm gonna move these out of the way. So these cards here can be a little difficult with how far, see I can barely open my hands up all the way, I can barely fit them on there. And I do go ahead and sometimes I will shuffle them this way and sometimes I just oh, shuffle them the easy way. So this one I actually have to put my pinky and my ring finger there, my middle and my index finger here and then my thumb here. And I actually am gonna sneak up, it takes both fingers here to bend this for me and I'm gonna line those up and I just slap them down that way. And then I can still do the same technique. I'm holding them with my thumbs and I just drop my fingers and they slide that way. But you can see it starts to get a little difficult for me. So sometimes what I can do, if I still wanna do that and my fingers just can't handle it, I can just divide the deck up into two and that makes it easier for me. So we'll shuffle. And then this one here. And then I just put the two cards together here. And then I may follow up with a shuffle. Like that. Okay, so let's go. I wanna show you a little bit different. I have, um, these are the Universal Tarot. This is the Book of Shadows Tarot here, volume two. Whoops, and these cards here, they're a little more narrow. And that might not seem like much, but it actually makes these more difficult to shuffle than these are. So let me show you. This shuffle, I can usually do okay, but I'm getting right at my limit here. So usually what I end up doing with these bigger decks it's skinnier this way, so I just I lose some of the control because the ratio's off. So I end up just 
My hands are a little too small to be shuffling them this way. I can do it, but it, it's uncomfortable to do here. So I tip the cards this way and do it. But then what I have a problem with is because they're so little, they tip easy and they end up falling all over the place. So I usually pull them closer to my body and I sometimes I'll use my body to hold them. And that is sometimes one of the ways I choose my cards, just what flies out of the deck when I'm doing this. So the Eight of Pentacles. Hmm. And sometimes I'll have 10 cards fly out, which doesn't always work. So what you'll see, that's one of the ways I shuffle there. Now we start to get, these are a little bit bigger, Golden Tarot what deck this is and these are when we look I'll go back to the universal weight deck here because this is a standard tarot size here so these cards the golden tarot are actually wider they go in the other direction and a little bit longer this way so because they start to get a little bit too big for my hands I can't really get my fingers on that what I can do is and they're too thick these cards are too thick to do it sideways but i can do that same shuffle sideways here and then just push them together and do the other half here and then i'll just shuffle them And once you get on, on the bigger cards, and even with the smaller cards, some people just spread them out, mix them all up, and then stack them back together. That makes my OCD a little crazy, so I don't do that. Plus, I think it, it really scratches up the cards a little bit more than I like, too. So now we've got, I'm going to go to these Angel Terra cards by uh, Doreen Virtue and compare these to this. These are starting to get much bigger. And these are really just almost, I, I have a hard time even just holding the deck with one hand. You can see if I don't get a good grip on it and I relax, then they end up starting to fall out of my hands here. So again, I just do this one, the side shuffle here, like I did with that other one and show you. And then sometimes you have to just to bend them back. If you can't get that, the second, um, shuffle down you just just bend them back the other way if they start to bend that's easier to do but it's not quite as pretty it doesn't have as much flair cards there whoa see that's kind of big and this is about the same size as most oracle decks so i end up shuffling my oracle decks this way and now my last deck that I wanted to show you is kind of the odd deck that I have for me. So these are the Druidcraft tarot deck here um, that I actually trimmed. So this one here is, uh, if I stand it up on its side, you can see I didn't do a fantastic job about making sure they're all the same size, which I'm probably gonna have to go back and fix but I hated the borders on this. And, and as I've said already, my hands are small. These cards were just way too big for me to handle easily. So I trimmed them and I just didn't like the way the border looked either. So if we look at the size here, that's about the size they are compared to the standard tarot size. But these, because they're all different sizes, you can't do that normal shuffle that I showed you because what happens is you can't grab every card because they're not all the same size. So this is gonna shuffle weird. It just kind of shoots all over the place and it it won't work with a deck like this that you've trimmed that's not exactly the same size so you either have to be really careful that they're all end up being the same size or you find another way to shuffle either by spreading them all out on the table or shuffling them this way or if your hands are big enough mine are not to turn them sideways and shuffle it this way and you can shuffle up on top here or you can go back and forth here it's kind of harder doing it on the end that way 
those are just some ways that you can shuffle cards. There's probably some that I've missed, but these are the techniques that I use. The one that I probably use the most is what I've shown you. It depends on the, the card size. And sometimes I just stick with the smaller cards because my hands start to get hot tired holding and shuffling the bigger cards. Uh, and I feel just as strong of a connection to the smaller size cards as I do the bigger ones. So I hope this has been helpful. Uh, as with everything I do, take what works for you and leave the rest. And if you have any uh, techniques or suggestions that you'd like to offer for ways to shuffle cards that I didn't mention, or ways that work for you, you wanna offer encouragement of a certain style, then please go ahead and comment below. I look forward to seeing what everyone has to say. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you on the next time around. Bye.